running is my life, you know. I take running as my life. With no running, I'm done, you know. That's why when I go out there at the track, I don't play games. Yeah, it's, it's been all-inclusive. It's been friends, uh, it's been family, it's been... Uh, it's been a place to fit in, for sure. Running's kind of been the only thing that I've known for a very long time. It's such a habit now. I'm very lucky to do what I do, and I absolutely love my job. I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, it's been amazing. It's, it's a dream come true to be able to do what I love every day. And, and I have two young kids, so they get to watch me now, and they're getting a little older, and they get it. Um, unfortunately, every time I come home from a race, they, they want to know if I won and brought them a medal. <laughs> I mean, running is my world. It means the world to me. Um, you know, I've, I've learned so many valuable lessons about life and just about myself through running. You don't have a lot of time in this sport and you just have to enjoy everything, the ups and the downs. Yes, you're going to have bad workouts, you're going to have a bad race, but that's part of sport. Sports, sports aren't nice sometimes, it doesn't have any emotions towards you and it's just dealing with those emotions and I think that's just part of what it is, that's part of the journey. It's such a privilege to be able to um, pursue your dream and your passion to say that my career is going out and getting a run in. It's just so awesome. It's been this extension of family. So I now have my Gator family. I have my New Balance family. And that's what running has been for me throughout my life. It's just been a way for me to meet people who I love. This is my place. This is where I belong. I was cut from my JV basketball team. I was cut from my JV baseball team. You're too small and you're not strong enough. Well, one of those I can work on. It hurt getting cut from those teams. And um, the track team was open arms and welcoming. Uh, I've been to some amazing places and met some amazing people. and. It's been everything, for sure. I know nine times out of ten on the start line, if I'm calm and I'm excited, then I know it's going to be a good race. It's 70% physical, how you prepare, and the other 30% is mental, you know? And that's something you can never be given by your coach, by anyone. It's something that is inside you. Did I do enough to be fully ready? And I know that's how a lot of people approach it. And they always ask me, like, how do you get over that? I'm like, as soon as the gun goes off, it's like attack mode. Are you scared or are you not ready? There's a difference. And um, it's OK to be nervous and anxious and a little scared. Um, I really try and channel the confidence that I get from my training um, and to know that I've done everything possible to prepare for this moment. Winning a race is something you never take for granted, you know. It's something that makes me realize my dreams are coming true. It's a great feeling it, it, to know that you have come through with the win. It's like such a small amount of time can make such a big difference in our event. It's not the immediate gratification. It's honestly just the fact that you've put so much work in and then you have this like something tangible to finally say like, okay, now it all pays off. You work so hard for these moments and you don't get them often. And winning's not everything. But having your goals and always being able to walk away with um, with perspective, I think that's what keeps us in the sport. It's the feeling that you get when you cross the line that you're just like, this is what makes everything worth it. I think it comes down to family, and when I'm here, you know, I, people treat me like family. To be here in North Carolina, it feels like. Um, I don't know, it's just a little bit different. Just to have a track meet that's in the south is pretty cool. Definitely a fun atmosphere and a, a cool experience. I think this is a meet where you can come and be a rock star. Oh, I love it. We, we love having our audience 
right in the mix with us. It's just that cool atmosphere that I think um, the track and field is missing. Flat tracks are a rarity now. Having David Shannon around and Craig Longhurst, they do such a good job at putting this race on. The idea, it's, it's, it's so intense, you know, like, I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be packed tomorrow. Having the owner of the track involved in the event and being so hyped up about who's coming and what's happening, that in itself is a huge, it's a huge draw to this race. It makes it very personal.